Welcome back to the He's Wrong, She's Right podcast. This is Nona, I'm Andrew, and this is an aluminum brass AR-10. Made by our sponsor, Hellfire Arms, or Hellfire Armory, sorry about that. Link down in the description. Check them out. They don't just manufacture firearms. They can make anything, anything. You might not want to pay what they'll charge for anything, but <laughs> I actually don't know. It depends, obviously, the materials, the cost of development. Like if you already have the files and can send it over and they just throw it in the machine versus if they're trying to reinvent the wheel, right? I don't work for them, so check with them for pricing. Info on their website, links down in the description. And uh, yeah, they'll do custom aluminum brass like this. They don't like doing it, but they will do it if you want it. If you want They to. don't like doing it? No, uh, they were explaining to me this morning that the tooling required to do this, they have to use two different sets of tooling versus any of the other lowers or uppers that they make typically only require one. Um, it, in certain, in certain cuts, it acts more like stainless steel, hardened steel. So it breaks your bits. So they have to use special bits for like plunge cutting and stuff like that. Yeah. It's a whole, it's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. Not my chair, not my problem. That's what I say, right? So, yeah, if you want a sweet, sweet, sweet AR-10, because this thing is nice. This thing is, I want to go shoot it. I really want to go shoot it. But if you want an AR-10, check them out. That'll be our little show prop. And then uh, they can also do again, the uppers and lowers for AR-15s. Obviously, you have the upper. The lower here. I can do all kinds of other cool stuff. Show too. the logo. Oh, what? There's nothing right on the upper. That's right here. Yeah. Upside down. So they can do, they've got uh, laser etching machines. They've got all the different CNCs, everything you can think of. So they can do stuff like this where they can Cerakote it and finish it first. And then you can get that raw metal underneath or you can have it engraved before it's, it's finished and just have it be whatever the finished color is. I love my wife. I love my wife. I love my wife. Sure. So you got like that bronze. You got, they got a raw. This one is really cool. They did this as a proof of concept for somebody. Ignore the zip ties. It's just, it's not fully assembled. Um, so this is their raw that you can get, but they did this notched out magwell for an ar-10 they were doing i think they were going to do production for that for for a company and then they can do goofy stuff like this where they can take finish it and then they can bead blast it to give you weird little permanent patterns basically what they did is they it's it's seracoded if you feel this you can feel the the difference and then they go through it's essentially like sandblasting mm-hmm and then they just remove the finish back off of it. So you got like the... Well, why'd you call it goofy? I don't know. This isn't my cup of tea, but I could see why somebody would like something like this. What is your cup of tea? I don't know. Green? Green, black? Yeah. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> so anyways, uh, check them out. Link in the description. They can do all kinds of stuff. Like I said... If you just want a custom milled metal cutting board for some reason, they can do that for you. For some reason. Yeah. You know, because nobody uses a cutting board for a real reason, just for but some reason. But how many reason. people do you know that have a metal cutting board is what I'm getting at? Say, for some reason. <laughs> okay. Yeah, they can do, uh, they do 100% uh, 1911 frames. For all of the lowers, they offer them an 80% or 100%. If you order a 100%, you have to have an FFL transfer completed to stay within the laws and regulations. And that is all part of the checkout process on their website. You can select your dealer. Your dealer will get a notification. They'll be in your contact. Dealer. Yeah. What, your, if you bought a car, it'd be, if you went to Ford's website and picked out your parts for your car, they're going to send it to the car dealership. Okay. They're, that's literally the the um, big three, whatever you want to call them, back in the day. 
they forced dealerships to exist. Tesla didn't want to have dealerships. That's why they have showrooms. Okay. Because it's legally required in several states, like Michigan. Because, Speaking of Tesla. Yeah. Do you want to tell us about... Tell us about... The Cybertruck? Oh, yeah, the technical. Yeah. Some some Russian already made a uh, Cybertruck technical. And? America slacking. That's it? That's Just a, America slacking? Yeah, that's that's our thing. That's our thing. And there's already people that... So, the uh, uh, Whistling Diesel actually made came out with a second video already. And, oh my God. We'll come back to the Cybertruck thing in a second because it is... It's a Cybertruck video, but I want to explain how ridiculous he's testing these vehicles. So I think I told you they had... Which, guys, he made me watch that original Whistle and Diesel... Video. Oh, I thought you pressed pause no. because USPS just no, showed up. I, I definitely thought you pressed pause. That's she why just, I stopped talking. She stood up. So yeah, we're going to pause it. We'll be right back. All right, we're back. Sorry about that. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, Expected yeah. the dog... I thought, you heard that too, right? Yeah. She was, she's, she's like, you guys are thinking about me, aren't you? I should come downstairs. Uh, but yeah, he made me watch that original Whistle and Diesel video testing out the Cybertruck yeah. versus what, the Ford F-150? Yeah. On a fucking date night, like literally in the middle of dinner, he was like, I need you to watch this. Like, we go on a date like once a month. Can we please just, you know, have some quality time, me and you? No, Whistle and Diesel time. was our third wheel. We did have quality time. So, Whistle and Diesel guy, whatever your name is, nah. please. <sighs> we had quality time. Give me give me one night, please. So, so, please. so, his uh, Cybertruck is in for repairs right now. He said the bill's up to like $12,000, but... He's not getting his towing capability back because you can't. And people were bashing into like, oh, the Ford frame would bend like that too. He came down these like boulders and the the uh, rear end kind of slammed down on this thing. So yes, he's like, you made me watch it over and over and over again. He goes, no, that doesn't happen with a normal steel frame. Let me prove it. So he had these giant. This was the follow up video. Yeah. These giant concrete blocks, right? Okay. He backed up to it, used his excavator, attached it to the hitch. Okay. Nothing, no special rigging or anything like that. And he dropped the tail end of the F-150 onto it a hundred times from like six to eight feet up. And nothing happened? At like the 40 or 50th drop, there was a small bend and then he dropped something on the hitch and it unbent it oh my gosh <laughs> yeah. and he still drove around with it and he's like see there's a difference between your vehicle spontaneously falling apart it's rated to haul 11 an 11,000 pound trailer or 11 the 000. cyber truck is yeah so and apparently after that video, somebody was pulling like a camper or something and the hitch broke <gasps> and rear ended them. Oh my God. Yeah. And here's the biggest problem with all of this, right? And there were probably the, kids in the car too. Your, your towing assembly for any vehicle, the chains where you attach the chains are right next to the receiver for the hitch. Okay. So if the whole thing falls off your fucking vehicle, the chains are useless too. Because the chains are intended, if something happens, your receiver lets go, you forgot to put the pin in. It's like, it's a secondary, like, safety, okay. right? Or, like, you didn't latch it properly and the, the tongue pops off the hitch. Okay. There's a million different reasons. Okay. I've seen it. It's actually happened to a family friend of mine when I was a kid. Their jet ski trailer, they didn't latch it, and it popped up when they were on the road, and the hitch went right through their tailgate. Damn. Yep. Put a big old nice hole in their brand new car. That sucks. Yeah. So, but the chains prevent your trailer from going wherever else when you're stopping. Okay. So that other traffic is not put at 
much risk. Okay. I mean, they're still, if they're next to you or too close or following close behind, they might, right. something might happen. But it's intended for you to control your vehicle and still control the trailer. Okay. If that whole fucking thing falls off and your car is still driving down your the road. SOL. Yeah, your trailer's doing whatever it wants back here. And apparently that happened to somebody. That smashed sucks. right through the back of their vehicle. That's terrifying. Yeah. And I guess he still hasn't gotten an answer back from Tesla. But he has said multiple times he's been DMing them on Instagram. And I know that that is a common place that people like to collaborate. Because even Tansy was Why like, Instagram? I don't know. I don't know. Tansy... Elon is fucking Twitter. Yeah. Tansy... Go on there. Tansy said that you know, like when they want to reach out to somebody to collaborate on a podcast or do a brand deal or whatever, they do it on Instagram. And I was like, hmm. okay, no thanks. I don't even open Instagram. I opened it yesterday to sign into all my accounts again to make sure that I, you know, two factor. Because I don't, well, you don't know this, but now for uh, people that have the more secure accounts, settings, and stuff like that on all of Meta's products, um, you have to use a device that you're already signed in as or signed in with to approve your new device login. You can, there's alternative methods, but so I had to sit there with one phone open, signed in the account. Well, good thing I'm not a verified person if I ever decide to come back to nothing, social media. It has nothing to do with being verified. It has it's all about your security posturing. Oh, having I thought you were saying having for- good security settings, using two factor authentication, multi factor authentication, whatever. Okay. Yeah, I don't. I don't want to collaborate with you on Instagram. I don't want to collaborate with now you. You're going to get like a hundred messages on Instagram. I won't ever know because I don't open it. If you message me on any account that I control on Instagram, it's probably just going to go unread forever. Hmm. I respond to the comments on the Meta Business platform. Really. And- because I want to clear out the notifications. I'm one of those people that I can't have any unread notifications on anything ever. Sure. Except for me. You leave me unread. I literally have no notifications right now. That's how it always is. Okay. So back to the technical. Mm-hmm. They took, so the the uh, bed has like, you know those uh, pool covers that like retract? Mm-hmm. It's kind of like that. Okay. So retracting, which apparently it's really terrible and like gets jammed and stuff. Cool. This this sounds like a really uh, worthy vehicle. Yeah. So it, you retract it in, and then you know you have your your bed opening. They mounted a I think it was a Modus. So fifty cal. Okay. That's all you need to know. Um, and they were driving it around. And I've also seen another company, they haven't mounted any weapon system on it yet. But so if you ever play the game Halo back in the day, there's a vehicle in the game called the Warthog. Warthog? Yeah. As in the animal? Yes, but okay. also the name of the vehicle. Okay. And it was basically like the only vehicle, it was a four person vehicle, whatever. Okay. It's like the equivalent of a futuristic. Humvee or Jeep or whatever. <clears throat> and that had a weapon mounted on top of it. Okay. So people are taking their cyber trucks, which already kind of look like it, and they're making them look like Warhogs. There's a company, I believe they're in Texas, that that's what they were doing. And it looks like it, but they don't have a weapon mounted to it yet. Yet. Yeah. It's I, Texas. They need they need to have one and I'm sure I'm sure somebody will do this. I mean, Richard Ryan and Black Rifle mounted that Vulcan cannon on a Prius. You need a fully automated Vulcan cannon turret on top of it. That'd be dope. That'd be so fucking cool. All right, clip this and send it to him on Instagram because apparently that's where you're supposed to do it. In your in your center console, right? Instead of having the, well, I I guess you could still have a console, but you have a joystick that could come up. And because they have all the screens and everything everywhere, you could have 
a camera system mounted onto your Vulcan Canon. And then with your little joystick, you can rotate, you know, pitch it, turn it, whatever. And so you could be driving along and you can find targets. Is that what you're going to do at school drop off every morning now? No. You're trying to get us in real trouble? I'm not taking a gun to school. Come on. Let's be serious here. Now, no, you pretending if like, you're one of those, in your head. If you're one of those dum dums that thinks that the uh, off road jack that Jeepers mount on their hood is a gun, I can't help you there because you're just dumb. At a bare minimum, you're dumb. I have no idea what you're talking about. By the way, um, our merch shelf on our YouTube channel uh, should be up soon. I'm having to redo everything. This is news to me. So besides the one shirt, what is our merch? YouTube. Well, we have the episode shout out, other things like that. <clears throat> but YouTube requires that you use one of four um, services that they like selected or partnered with. And it, it like changes all the time. So our current store which is on WooCommerce, can't be used for the merch shelf. Bummer. Yep. So I'm having to set up Shopify, go through all that. So it'll be store.he'swrongshe'srite.com or shop. one of those two. It'll be one of them, maybe both, because I can have multiple domains, multiple subdomains. Um, but yeah, I've been working on that. The products and stuff like that are loaded in there. I'm not going to fucking do anything on Shopify other than use it for our merch sales. I'm going to tie into their API and we'll bring everything back to the main website eventually. I've been talking about doing this for my YouTube clients forever and I started doing it and I just stopped. I have it all ready to go. I have an entire custom plugin that I built for WordPress and WooCommerce to do this and I just haven't launched it. Get on it, Andrew. Well, it wasn't going to make me any money, so now it's going to make me money. Seven dollars. And it doesn't. It doesn't exist, so I have may, had to make this from the ground up. Mm. I got to figure out how to license it, and I mean, I know how. I'm just saying, like, I need to figure out what strategy I'm going to use for people that want to use it. Okay. Yeah. Makes things nice because we're going to have the site will have essentially three different software platforms, primary platforms that it's running. Okay. And I don't like that. I like one thing where it does it all. What? Okay. Okay. So check check out our website and eventually when you notice that the the products are taking you somewhere else cuz it'll still look the same. The products will still be there. Just when you click to select your options or click on an image, it'll take you to the Shopify subdomain. It's just a blank white screen. I'm not going to, that's, that's going to be what it's going to be. I hate Shopify. Okay. But of the four approved vendors, that's the one that I work in frequently. So it's the one that I'm most familiar with, the one that I know the pros and cons for. And don't feel like figuring out anything for another one. Understand. Yeah. So anyways. Anywho. That's what Black Raffle uses in Shopify. Did you know that? No. Probably the if you any e commerce site that you go to that's not Amazon, eBay, Etsy, whatever, any brand or anything that you go to is either gonna be WooCommerce. Shopify, big commerce, or um, Adobe's. I can't think of the name of it. Hmm. It's going to be one of those four. Okay. And it's probably going to be WooCommerce or Shopify. There's very few people that use the other two. I know FCS uses big commerce. I know some others that have used big commerce, but it sucks. It sucks. And you have things like this that you can't sell on any platform. So then we have people like you who yeah. have to build it. Yep. From the ground up. Yep. So. 
So. What are we talking about? This is our entertainment episode. Nelly? You said Nelly? Yeah, sure. We can talk about Nelly. Visit Nelly. Visit NonaPhelps.com. Link <laughs> will be in the description. To get insurance. Yeah. I don't write in, I think it was Miami that he was pulled over. Um, but I don't write in Florida, but I can definitely get you with somebody who. You but really man. Really can. That's where your boss is. But man, seriously, you just had a baby a couple weeks ago and driving without insurance. And I think he had ecstasy found on him as well. I told you that. Yeah, I, I'm just going off of memory here. He told me this like a month ago. That wasn't that long ago. Yeah. No. Yeah, he had no. a whole baby a whole month ago. So it was longer ago than... Nelly was pulled over on August 8th, 2024. So he had the baby first? Shit! Oh my god! I think he had his baby like July 18th or something like that. I don't know. Oh my yeah. god. That's so crazy. When was Nellie's baby born? Nellie's baby was born on July 18th, 2024. His name is Kareem Kenkide Haynes. Congratulations to Nellie and his wife, Ashanti. Ashanti. Yeah. And then they got married and didn't tell anybody, which we uh, know a little something about that. We do. I'm yeah. The wedding was a pretty big surprise. <laughs> I guess they wanted to keep things private. That's Especially the, with the baby. Stop. The exactly the same. We're going on almost two years now. My parents still don't even know. They probably watch this. <laughs> they know. No, they don't. Yeah, they do. No, they don't. You're saying they're oblivious? Completely. No. Completely. No. I don't talk about anything. That doesn't mean anything. But yeah. Oh my God. I'm so disappointed. In and him what? as a new father, driving without insurance and have a new baby so, and getting pulled over with ecstasy. Nelly was initially pulled over for driving a vehicle without insurance on August 8th, 2024. However, during the traffic stop, official discovered he was also in possession of ecstasy pills. Naughty, okay. naughty. So let me teach you guys a lesson here real quickly, okay? Okay. When the officer approaches your vehicle, you don't have to talk. It's literally your right not to talk. Don't talk to cops. So what do you propose that they do? You hand your Just information. Just hand over yeah. the information through yeah. a cracked window yeah. and not say a single thing? I mean, thing? If, you, if you're not like smoking weed and shit like that or doing anything suspicious, you can roll the window down more than just cracked. But stop incriminating yourself, idiots. Did, did I read off that? That uh, it not advice, advice before? I don't know. I don't think so. There's something along the lines of don't do crime. But if you do crime, don't talk to other people about the crime that you did. Don't post about the crime that you did on social media. Mm. But more importantly, don't do crime. Okay. Thank you for that information, Andrew. We really appreciate it. Don't do crime. Don't do crime. Don't talk to cops. If you are pulled over or you're suspect of something, suspected of something, I'm assuming driving a vehicle without insurance, they ran his plate. The state probably has mm -hmm. information on who has insurance on their vehicle or not. Mm -hmm. So they pull them the over North for Carolina, that. In the state of North Carolina, it's called the FS1 form. So they, they pull them over for that. Mm -hmm. And... How'd you fuck that up? Nelly, come on. Seriously. To, yeah. To be asked I'm, to step out of your vehicle, you had to, I mean, I'm sure somebody could FOIA and get the body cam footage if they haven't released it. Mm. They typically release that like. Especially since he's table. a celebrity. No, they that would legally, have totally like TMZ. I probably tried to get that. Well, it's not try. They have to give it to you. There's no try. It's or it's probably, it's probably out already. Maybe. I'm sure it is. I'm sure it is. Let's find out. Nelly arrest video. Dash cam footage shows arrest of Nelly at casino outside St. Louis. St. Louis? Why did I think it was in Florida? Well, that's where he's from. 
That's why I thought the other day the Say Lunatics thing. That's like where they're that whole. I'm pretty sure he's part of that or was. Saint Lunatics. What were we talking about that for? Yeah, he was. Saint Lunatics featuring Nelly. I don't even know what that is. It was a rap group from when we were like middle school. I know him from um, Hot Hot and Her. That came out. Hot and Her. That came out like when you were in elementary school. Yeah, but no, that's what I know him from. And like that, I only went to the club maybe three whole times in my entire life. And that definitely played on repeat. Did you, did you guys have those um, like underage clubs here? Um, Yeah, we had one and it closed down. I think like the year I turned 18. What was it called? Rocks. R-O-X. I wonder if, I wonder if places still do that anymore. That's probably straight up only run by pedophiles. Yeah, and um, I found out later that it wasn't actually meant to be an underage. They just didn't ID. So the answer is yes, but the answer was really no. The answer is yes, but no. So there, it wasn't like officially meant for underage people. They just let underage people Wait, in. Wait, this can't be. Hold on. This is from. What? They're like in the parking lot of of the casino. Mm. What is happening? You're watching the footage. It just it's he's like walking in front of a building in handcuffs, Mm. but there's nothing that shows him driving. Arrest of Nelly at Casino outside St. Louis. Dash cam footage shows the moment. Grammy winning rapper. Um, it's from some news agency and they're not. It's just the video on loop of mm. him walking in front of the police dash cam. So back to what I was uh, saying about the song and clubs in general He um, came up earlier this year in the news, but not because of anything bad, like getting pulled over, Um, but quote unquote kids these days going to the club, seeing videos of how it was when you and I were of age to go. Do you remember how like hot and sweaty and like everybody grinding on each other and everything? No, because I didn't go. I thought it was stupid. Okay. Well... The three whole times that I went, that's how it was. And apparently a video was circulating of, I think it was actually the music video for that song and kids who are like 21 going to the club now going, was it actually like this? And just mind boggled that now everybody's like bottle service, sitting like in a nice corner of a uh, that's not going to the club that's going out to dinner or going that's out to the drinks. only way that i would go to anything like that even then <laughs> i'm not joking that- but i i loved to dance that was so fun and you don't like to dance no so i can see that i can see but the idea of just sitting in a corner, like I'm old now. That's what I do now that I'm old, just sitting in a corner no, we and the, judging people. <laughs> we were the we were the ballers who only, ballers. Went, only went to places where we were VIPs, where we got like the <sighs> we got to look over the pores. Oh my god! Yeah, I had friends. The majority of my friends were older than me, mm-hmm. and we would either have, you know house party or we would go to the bars yeah even when i was underage okay or even a sports bar where everybody could drink because the majority of the time in indiana nobody carted really if you go to the right places yeah interesting if you go to a lot of like the dive bar type places Mm. things like that they don't card they don't care just if you get caught, you weren't here. I would never go to those places, though, as an 18-year-old because I wanted to dance. There's no dancing on a dive bar. They had dancing and 
dive bars. Was it like I literally have video hillbilly of, line dancing? I was looking for something from like 09, 2010 ish. Mm-hmm. And I was oh looking, God. I was looking for a I was picture. Having my first baby in 2010. I was looking for a picture of my dad. <laughs> Yeah. And uh, my friend of, uh, uh, and I um, up at the cabin. Okay. And the picture that I found wasn't... So some of my pictures are like out of whack because they were taken like before like real smartphones. Okay. So there's no metadata with like dates and stuff. Mm-hmm. So I have I have pictures that say they were taken like 1977. Okay. Even though they weren't taken in 1977 because I wasn't born. Right, right, right. And the... What do you call them? The um, Blackberry Storm and the first ever Motorola. So they brought back Razor as a phone that looked like this mm-hmm. in like 2010, I think. Okay. So yeah, potato camera. Okay. Potato quality camera. Okay. Yeah, I was just looking for a picture, but the pictures that I found were pictures of people that we were making fun of and video of people that we were making fun of that were on a dance floor in a dive bar just completely wasted, like <laughs> thinking that they were doing some serious moves and we were like, you should probably seriously get a cab because you can't drive. You are fucked up. Yeah, don't drink and drive. Yeah. But it's okay to dance. It was at uh, Nataka. For anybody that knows. Sounds terrible. No, no, Taco's awesome. Okay. I was just telling, uh, there's a guy that I follow on Twitter, or we follow each other. Um, He's still in the Army, and he's from that area. And we were talking about it. He brought brought something up, and I was like, have we crossed paths before? Because when you go to those bars that are in the middle of nowhere, Mm -hmm. the closest Walmart's an hour and a half away. Okay. Pretty much everybody knows. It's it's not like the close-knit like neighbor, like you can't walk to each other's house. Your properties are fucking huge. Okay. But there's only a handful of places that you can go that are bars. There's even fewer of them that you can get from forestry roads, which, unless the DNR is out there, don't have the same enforcement like a street has. So people would take their four wheelers. They're they're dirt roads. Most of them are rutted really bad. The cops can't get back there in their Crown Vic. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So you would people would ride their four wheelers and stuff to the bar in the winter. They ride their snowmobiles. Okay. I'm serious. That's crazy. Yeah. I mean, down here it's mopeds. I was gonna say down here it's you take your boat. Mm, yeah. I don't know. I wouldn't I wouldn't fuck around drinking and boating. It's, I wouldn't you're not supposed to drink and vehicle of any kind. I no, I'm saying the Coast Guard and the police around here are just assholes all the time, boarding all the time. So it's not like Don't wh- drink and vehicle when of any you're, kind. When you're in your car the cop can't just pull up to your car and jump in the window with you. <laughs> it's not even the same thing. Okay. They have to have a reason, a uh, suspicion, but uh, maritime law, that's not required. They can just say, we want to check and make sure that you have your life vests and your flares. There could, there, They might literally have absolutely no reason to be suspicious of you. And now they uncovered your boat cocaine. Your boat? Speaking of, I saw about a month ago um, down in Florida, a shit ton washed up on the shore. It was from the storm. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. From the storm. Yeah. <laughs> and the caption read something to the effect of, of course, it's always a white guy who. He handed it to two know. black guys who walked off the beach with him. <laughs> oh my God. Did you watch the whole video? Yeah, he was like kicking it. I, I, I didn't watch the video at all. He was like Just kicking it, caption. trying to like keep it from <laughs> being pulled back to sea. And then he like dragged it up a little bit and then two black guys came and picked it up on either side and walked off the beach with it. And that was the last, I was like, that's crazy. I didn't know that part at all. (laughs) It was like a middle-aged white dude who was trying to keep it from going back out to sea. 
And then they just walked up and they were like, yeah, thanks. See ya. Yeah. I don't even, if I remember right in the video, I don't even think he talked to him. And when they walked away, what would you do? He if we were, anything. if I dragged your ass to the beach one time ever, only, this man doesn't go to the beach. We the, literally live like five minutes no, away. There's too many cameras. There's too many cameras. Would you aid the police in the, their location? In the drug location? Yeah. No. You would just ignore it? Yeah. Not much, no more problem. My goodness. You're a terrible human being. Why? As soon as you touch it, you're now a suspect. <laughs> I'm not joking. As soon as you touch it, you're now a suspect. Pretend it's not there. Pretend it's not there. Yep. Just Because now they're literally, you are the only suspect that they have. So no, not going to touch it. Not going to help them. I'm going to pretend it's not there. Okay. There's too many cameras. Good to know. There's too many cameras where something can be snipped out of context. And now it looks like it is mine. Everyone's, everyone's got a surf camera. Everyone's got their cell phone. That was recorded on a fucking cell phone. There's no, there's no ability to get away with anything like that. There's these guys that make these, it only works at night because the uh, people's security cameras and stuff like that, they use uh, infrared sensors and infrared lights. So that's how you get that white glow that makes it all black and white. It's actually, so there's infrared light is being projected from somewhere on your camera. Okay. And then it's being reflected back. That's why you get like that ghosting because infrared light doesn't interact the same way that UV light or normal like rainbow sunlight does. Okay. So that's how you get that like where it looks like people are like floating around sometimes if like they're not perfectly still long enough. Okay. Yeah. So, but these these guys created these uh, shirts and hats that are for that specific use case. If I was wearing it right now, you would have no idea because you can't see infrared light. But the camera would be blown out. It would Good just be know. it would just be white. And it's for people that don't want to be picked up walking their dog or going into the gas station to get a drink or literally anything in public space. Because if you're in public, legally anybody can record you doing anything. If you go and walk on the street, anybody can record you. There's nothing you can do to stop them. You can ask them to stop. But if they're, that's why um, shows back in the day, and it's kind of starting to make a comeback, people's face being blurred out in the background. Mm. If they profit from you, from that content, that's a different story. But if they're like, oh, this idiot's out here cracked out on the, the street. Let me take a video. There's nothing anybody can do about that. Right. That's why body cameras and dash cameras and stuff like that are perfectly legal. Traffic cameras. They're not enforceable, but they're used as evidence. Well, speaking of dash cameras, other cameras mm -hmm. and evidence, mm -hmm. you want to talk about the only fans police police officer? I don't know, do I? Is my laptop going to die? Don't die. Why is the screen dim? 19%. We're good. It's not like it's doing anything. It's just sitting here. Talk about it. This is the same one, the guy that staged the groping? Yeah, it's on your phone. Because I've seen more and more of that happening. There's been fake cops so they're not even real cops they're just people who have like props and old um crown vicks okay and because anybody anybody can go buy props and pretend as long as you're not pulling real people over and impersonating an officer this is the this is the one that you told me about that right. she's an only fans girl but i'm saying i've seen much much more of it oh. and it's people that are staging it because they saw how much the real thing got traction and they're posting it oh my God without context as if it's a real thing groping people feeling them up 
Yeah. Because they know that people are like, oh, they, they should go to jail. Cops can't do that. Oh. What happened to the police officer that groped the OnlyFans girl? The police officer was fired from the Nashville Police Department and is facing felony charges for official misconduct. His name is Sean Herman, and he was 33 years old at the time of the incident. The charges carry a possible sentence of one to three years in prison. Oh, and just a reminder, I don't provide medical advice or diagnoses. You should always talk to a medical professional. Okay. So was he already sentenced or is he still pending trial? I do not have enough information about that person to help with your request. I am a large language model and I'm able to communicate and generate human-like text in response to a range of prompts and questions. But my knowledge about this person is limited. Is there anything else I can do to help you with this request? Why don't you stop? My apologies. It sounds like... It sounds like you want to stop something. What do you want to stop? You! Okay. (laughs) The article was on your phone. What article? You sent me a link to Twitter. Yeah, what what the article? Uh, He was fired on May 9th and faces two felony charges with a $3,000 bond. That's all you sent, was Mm -hmm. that he was arrested for appearing in an OnlyFans video. You were the one who told me about it, so I wanted to know more about the video. You you said you sent me an article as if it was there was new news. Mm. Yes, that's exactly what you said. So nothing has happened yet. Probably nothing will happen. Oh, I'm sure he got fired, right? So they, they're making an example out of him. No. Yes. No, they're just doing what they're supposed to do. That's not making an example out of somebody. Making an example out of somebody is pushing the law to the boundary, not doing the bare minimum. I think he will get charged with a felony. He's already charged with two felonies. I mean, he'll get sentenced. No. Yes. No, he won't. Yes. No, he won't. No, he won't. You think it's going to drop completely or just go down to a misdemeanor? It'll either be dropped or he'll plea. He's not going to be, he's not going to face any jail time. Not even a day. Mm -hmm. Not even a day. Not even a day. Nope. (sighs) Time served, maybe. I don't know how long he was in before he bailed out. Mm. But he's not. like an hour. No, it takes a long time to process that. Plus, do you think just a regular B cop had $3,000 to bail himself out without Bail bondsman or family member That's or something what like mommy that. Is for. You'd think so. I don't think so. I really hope that I didn't just jinx it and none of the kids need me to bail them out. All of them are going to. Stop! No, we're we live in a police state now. They're gonna just do something minor that doesn't mean anything to anybody, but stop. That's I'm I'm serious. One of them is going to say the wrong thing in front of the wrong security camera at the movie theater and get arrested. That's exactly what's going to happen. That's going to start happening to a lot of kids. They're going to be talking about something that happened in the movie. It's going to be taken out of context and be like, oh, this kid just made a bomb threat. Anyways, so to pivot completely, apparently J-Lo and Ben Affleck. Who are they? What do you mean? Who are they? Are getting divorced, and she filed for divorce on their two-year wedding anniversary. Our two years coming up in what? Two months? Two and a half months? I don't know what day is it. Am I going to file for divorce on our two-year wedding anniversary and follow J Lo's suit? (laughs) Is it on weekend this year? No, I think it. No, it's. Hold on. It was... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's, no, it's, a no it's not. It's a Monday. No, it's not. Leap year. Sunday, Monday. No, it's leap year. Sun- Monday. Tuesday. Tuesday. This is leap year. It was ask, Saturday. Ask your, ask your Gemini person. What day is November 11th, 2024? Day of the week. November 11th, 2024 falls on a Monday. What? Yeah. Monday. 
What year was, or what day was it in 2022? So Saturday. Eleventh, 2022 was a Friday. Oh, sorry, 2020. Yeah, it was it was Saturday last year. So I was and still then, right about leap year, though. Yeah, because we were supposed to have our wedding Saturday of last year on our one-year anniversary. And that's when we were going to tell people that we were married. Only we're going on two years now and still not telling people that we're married. At least I'm not. Well, everyone knows. Because I have nobody to tell. Everyone knows except your mom, apparently. <laughs> except for my mom. Yep. <laughs> What's going on with Ben Affleck and J-Lo? Unfortunately, Jennifer Lopez, J-Lo, recently filed for divorce from Ben Affleck. The couple had been married for less than two years. They were actually together almost 20 years ago. And it seems like maybe things moved a bit too fast this time around. So the speculation is that he's just like a regular guy, wants to have a regular life. She does not. And it was just too much. So uh, uh, Cash and I were watching Generation Kill. Okay. And during the invasion. That's the HBO show? Yeah. Okay. During the invasion, the Marines had heard a rumor that J-Lo had died and they thought that the news was hiding it to keep morale up. And so they were all like, they would ask like the command would have like a, you know, uh, uh, a meeting about, you know, different uh, movements and maneuvers and training and what they were doing when they were getting resupplies and what the missions were like and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And the guys would be outside the talk and be like, so what's the news on J-Lo? No. And they're like, what the fuck are you talking about? And this about? was 20 years ago. Yeah, they're like, yeah. what are you talking this about? This is early 2000s. Like, is there any word? Is J-Lo really dead? Oh, my God. <laughs> they were worried about her booty. That's what they were worried about. Sure. I don't know. Yeah, she's like the original. She's like the OG butt girl. Are you sure? Yes. Was there somebody before her that you know about? I thought there was. When did the other one, when did Shakira come out? After J-Lo. J-Lo was 100% before Shakira. And Shakira's, I would not say, known for her butt. The dancing or whatever? Belly dancing, is that what it's called? Sure. Is that what it's called? I don't know. And then, I thought that, no. It was Kim Kardashian after J-Lo. It was J-Lo, then Kim K. Nobody likes artificial I'm just saying, J Lo paved the way for the big booty. Nobody likes artificial. There, I don't remember. I don't remember where this came from, but I had a friend that would always he, and, and it didn't even matter if they did or not. His name was Justin. Okay. <laughs> what did Justin do? He would say he'd talk about some some girl's ass. Be like, oh, yeah, look at her ass. And be like, she ain't got no leg though. <laughs> I don't know where it came from, but he would say it all the time. And it sticks with me in my head, rent free, and any time, like shit like that, where you're talking. Have about, you ever seen a fake butt out in the wild? Uh, in the, I don't know about in the wild. So what you're saying, like only online, you've seen fake butts. There's been plenty of memes. Yeah, no, I'm saying out in the wild. Have you ever seen a fake butt? I I can't remember if I have. I've only seen one once. The girl, it was probably the same situation. She ain't got no leg. She was walking on the beach, and that thing was, it was like two basketballs. Just do some squats. You'll build all of your leg muscles together at the same time, and it'll look fine. It doesn't. Fine. It'll look fine. Well, I'm not, I'm not, I don't want to tell them good because I don't want to get their hopes up because they might just be trash anyways. But you sent me uh, Lainey Wilson. I didn't know who that was. Okay. It was the so commentary. He, he sent me a meme a couple days ago and it was Lainey Wilson pre weight loss. And the caption was definitely pre Ozempic. We can't say that she for sure is on Ozempic because we don't know, but pre weight loss. She took Ozempic. She's and then a famous person. Post. You know who she is. That booty shrunk in half 
And that's literally what she is known for is having that big old booty and wearing her tight bell bottoms, singing up on the stage with her guitar. Don't do it, ladies. Don't do it, Zempic. I lost my butt when after having babies. Do squats. Doesn't work like that, Andrew. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. I always had a big butt my entire life. Do squats. And then I had babies. Do squats. They sucked the life out of me. Do squats. Nursing all four of them for years on end. squats. It doesn't work like that. Yes, that's literally how it works. Yes, the muscle development is there. It just, it never goes back to how it was. That's what squats do. Do squats. Do squats. No excuses. Do squats. If you want a good butt, do squats. My eyes are burning. If you want a bad butt, eat McDonald's every day. Oh, my God. Do squats. Do squats. Eat steak. (laughs) God. What? What? Yeah, your eyes are turning red now. Yeah. Talking about weight loss no, and like, squats. It's like a, I think I think I got like the CLP on my fingers and I rub my eyes. It's like smell it. I smell like that greasy oil smell. Like I I smell it and I just showered and I have only touched them and sat here. He you, showered because he had to wash my face off of him. Sure. Sure. Okay. Um, what else? Is there more? No, that was it. Okay. Visit hellfirearmory.com. Link in the description. Build your So they only sell right now. They don't sell they don't do full builds. They can do full builds, but they don't traditionally do full builds anymore. Unless you want to pay that premium. The majority of their customers... Do you have any idea what that premium is? No. Because it's it's literally going to be case by like... Gotcha. You know, what kind of metal? What gotcha. kind of finish? Okay. What, you know, do you want this? Do you, like, there's there's just too many options. Right. Can't even speculate. All right. I know what I'm getting you for your birthday. Okay. If you insist. That's what they want you to think. Just... I don't know the, the I take the AR fifteen out of here. This AR this I'm not I'm not a huge fan of like the gold look, mm-hmm. but I like it together with, with the black and, and yeah. chrome. Black and silver. Okay. It works. Happy birthday, Andrew. Everybody sing happy birthday to him simultaneously. My birthday is so far away. They're like yeah, I have to save up apparently because apparently it's going to cost me an arm, a leg, and oh, a left tit. No, you, yeah, you're you're not going to want to even try to save up. Just these two parts, the upper and lower, for this. Mm-hmm. For the raw metal, you're talking two thousand dollars. That's before they do it. So. Oh my god! That's and so it used to be it was closer to like six eight hundred dollars for the raw metal, but the price of the raw metal has Damn. gone up. So. And this is super premium, high-end stuff. That, in, mm, yeah, wow. Yeah. Change your mind? I do like it, though. This thing is nice. You know what's really sad? What's up? If I file for divorce on November 11th, 2024, it would be cheaper than paying for one of those on December 24th. 2024 that's fucking crazy a divorce would be cheaper than buying you a a christmas slash birthday present that's fucking crazy i've (laughs) i've i have better things that i would want for christmas for my birthday like what not please tell me different firearm parts (laughs) (laughs) they are like what huh like what um I've always wanted to do a 300 blackout build subsonic suppressed. You don't know what any of that means. AR-15 with 300 blackout rather than 556. 
Uh, subsonic rounds means... Is that anything that Hellfire can assist in? Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> Need to file... Oh, I'm... oh, 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 oh. I want to I wanna bring this up real quick while we're talking about firearms and all this stuff. So, um, the uh, left is really, really mad right now because okay. they've been pushing for all these background checks and loop or not loopholes um hoops that you have to jump through like okay. stopping people from getting firearms well this thing called technology has happened okay, okay? and e-filing right okay and automation okay and things like that Back, okay yeah you know, all this stuff is basically digitized now okay it doesn't require a human reviewer unless there's something that jumps out mm-hmm. so what used to take months and sometimes years. Now it takes like 24 to 48 hours? Or less. Damn. So by pushing for laws to make it more complicated, you made it faster. Interesting. They're so mad. They're so mad. There was an article that came out and it was like the the troubling rise of, and they call them silencers. It's not what they are. They're suppressors. It. It doesn't silence anything. It reduces, it retards the amount of sound that comes out of it. So this is actually a flash suppressor. Okay. It just, it's a, or it's technically a muzzle brake. It's a big boy. This is on the smaller end of precision rifles. Okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, so. But yeah. With that, check them out. Click the links. It'll be down there. Order yourself a birthday present. Yeah. They can ship. So their website, I don't have it memorized. Um, they Some of the problematic states, like if you're in California or New York, they're just not even going to sell to you. Oh, that's <laughs> not a, only I'm sorry. They can, Move. they can, but they're just not going to because it's too much of a, it's too much headache mm-hmm. for both of you. Um, the states that they ship to you and sell to are listed on the site. It will not even let you check out if you live in one where they can't. If you live outside the United States, sorry about your luck. Sorry about your luck. You probably can't even visit the website Sucks if you live outside you. the United States. I mean, some of you can. Not every country is blocked, mm-hmm. but a large majority of them are. Um, on that note. On that note. My mouse is over here. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, my God. It was an hour. Bye. <laughs>